Today we are going to solve a math word problem using a number line. Let's read class. The seer has five green marbles. His friend gives him four more marbles. How many marbles does he have in all? What is the first thing that I do when I'm going to solve a math word problem. Yes. Circle the numbers that you're working with. I'm going to circle the numbers that I'm working with. I'm working with a number five and I'm working with the number four. What is the next thing I need to do when working with a math word problem? Yes. Underline the question that they're asking. Underline the question that they're asking. This question is asking how many marbles that does he have in all? What is the next thing I need to do? Yes. Box in your clue words. I need to box in my clue words. What are my clue words? More and in. So box in more and box in in all because those are our clue words. Now that we have dissected the word problem, we need to now use these numbers on the number line. Because my operation is addition, does it matter if I start with the five or the four? No. No, it doesn't. It's still gonna come out to be the same sum. So I'm gonna start with the number five on the number line. This is my number line. I'm gonna circle the number five so I know where I'm going to start. I am then going to hop four spaces to the right because I'm adding. So I'm going to hop one space, two space, three space, four space. One, two, three, four. Therefore, five plus four is equal to nine. This is what we call an equation, or if you're in first grade, you might know this to be a number sentence. The five is an add-in, the four is an add-in, and the nine is what we call the sum. Let's see if we can solve another word problem. Class, read with me, please. Kayla has eight cookies. Her friend ate three cookies. How many cookies are left? Who can tell me what's the first thing I do when I'm trying to solve a math word problem? Yes. Circle the number that you're working with. Circle the numbers I'm working with. What numbers am I working with? Eight and three. Eight and three. Three. What's the next thing that I should do? Yes. Underline the question. Underline the question. My question says, how many cookies are left? What's the next thing I should do? Yes. You just uh, box in the clue words. And what are my clue words? Eight and left because they tell you to subtract. Very good. The word eight tells me that my operation should be subtract because if you're eating something, you're now taking some of it away. And left is my clue words, it also tells me to subtract. Now, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm using a number line is to start with the numbers that I'm working with. But in subtraction, the larger number has to come first. Class, which one is the larger number of eight and three? Eight. Eight, eight. eight is my larger number, which means I have to start on the number line at the number eight and I need to go to the left this way because I am subtracting. So I'm going to go to the left three hops. That's one, two, three. One, two, three. I landed on the number five. So if I write an equation, that would be eight minus three equals five, and five is known as my difference. Okay?